When Mahatma Gandhi was growing up, no one could have predicted that one day he would become one of the most inspiring people in the world, with millions of followers, and that he would be considered India's father of the nation. Why? Because he was a very shy and quiet boy who had really low self-esteem. Every day he would run home from school so he wouldn't have to talk to anybody. He was afraid that the other kids would make fun of him. He disliked sports and didn't do very well in school. Although he was good in English, he was average in math and poor in geography, so he was a mediocre student. Gandhi was also really scared and panicked every time he had to speak in front of people. So how can a person who was barely able to say anything in front of people could lead his nation to independence? Well, he initially saw his shyness as a bad thing and tried really hard to change it. After finishing school, he left home and went to London to study law. During his time in England, there were many occasions where he had a chance to do a public speaking. And one time was especially painful for him. He was a part of a vegetarian community in London and had to give a speech there. He prepared his speech beforehand and rehearsed it many times. But when it was finally time to speak in front of people, after reading one line, he panicked. His vision became blurred and he was trembling from fear. He stopped and had to ask someone else to read the rest of his speech. The fear of public speaking remained a burden for Gandhi and followed him later as a lawyer. The day after he passed his exams and became a lawyer, he returned to India. But sadly, he then found out that his mom passed away. During his first case before a judge, he was very nervous and panicked again. I stood up, but my heart sank into my boots. I could think of no question to ask. The judge must have laughed. Embarrassed and humiliated, Gandhi left the courtroom. And because of the failure in his first case, he lost confidence in himself. During this time in India, he failed to start a successful law practice and went to South Africa for a case. And he stayed there for 21 years. But sadly, he was treated differently because of the color of his skin. His stay in South Africa became one of the most important experiences in his life. Slowly, he became more confident and made his mark as an honest lawyer who would always fight for what he believed. After being a lawyer for 20 years, he gave up the practice and devoted all of his energy to public service and began a peaceful campaign for civil rights. His stay in South Africa was the perfect training for Gandhi, because he would become the man who would lead his country to freedom. Mahatma Gandhi led the freedom movement in India for independence from the British rule by creating massive peaceful campaigns. He is one of the most inspiring people in the world, and throughout India, he is known as the father of the nation. Sadly, he left this world by the hand of another person, but he will always be remembered as the hero who touched the lives of billions of people. Mahatma Gandhi had a burning desire to make a change. He found a way to accept his shyness and his quietness and transform them into a powerful voice for peace, the voice that led India into independence. So let me ask you something. If Gandhi, who was an average student, a shy and quiet boy who ran home from school, who had low self-esteem, who was laughed at, who panicked every time he had to open his mouth in front of other people, became a hero and the powerful force that changed the world. Just imagine what you can do. So, what's your story?